Exactly a year ago, I was among first unlucky people in Europe to be tested positive for the famous new virus. Oh. One year and many medical checkups later, I want to share the long-term impacts of the virus on me. Hi guys, I'm Rock and I'm not an expert nor a doctor as I'll simply share my personal experience. A year ago, I published a video of my virus test that went viral as many TV stations and newspapers picked up my YouTube story. At the time, no one knew what to expect and even scientists and doctors were learning on the go. As you can see, this is not my typical YouTube environment. I'm in a hospital, in isolation room, and I'll tell you how I ended up here. As I was among the first to be tested positive, I was hospitalized. Not because I needed medical attention, but rather to be monitored and doctors could gather more information about the new disease. Since then, I still have regular checkups as doctors continue to study about the long-term impact of the virus. That is why now, after one year, I want to share with you the results of my checkups. At the time I was tested positive, I was 38 years old, without any pre-existing medical conditions, I was doing my workout two or three times a week, I wasn't a smoker, I wasn't overweight, and in general, I was a regular, healthy person. At the time of the infection, I was on one week off-road motorcycle tour that was physically very challenging. I already described the whole story in the videos published at the time, so I'll put the links in the description. The point is, I would have never guessed it I was infected. As mentioned, I was hospitalized to be monitored, as this was brand new virus at the time. During my five days in hospital, doctors were monitoring my body temperature, my oxygen level, my blood pressure and my heartbeat. They also checked my lungs and heart and ran blood, urine and stool analysis every day. And every time, all results came back fine. I had no pain, no headache and at the time I didn't notice any other problems. They also ran x-rays of my lungs twice and found no problems. I was swapped for the virus three more times and every time the test came back positive. After being discharged, I agreed to participate in further medical study. Since then, I had five more thorough medical checkups and in a month I'm scheduled to have my final one. As you can see, I was released from hospital and now I'm staying in our spare bedroom and that's the reason why here we don't have proper furniture but I have this big comfy bed, so I'm doing great. Only three days after I was released from hospital, I had my first checkup. They did swab tests, took blood, urine and stool samples, checked my temperature, blood pressure, oxygen level, heartbeat and listened to my lungs and heart. As at the time numbers of new cases already exploded, I had to wait for a week before I finally received the results of my swab test that came back negative for the first time. All other results were fine, as many times before. At the time, I also didn't notice any other medical problems. After a negative swab test came in, I could finally finish my three weeks of isolation. I started to do walks outside, but I felt really out of shape just after pushing a baby stroller. At first, I figured that that was the result of being isolated in a room for weeks. But over the time, I realized this was a consequence of the virus. I also realized that my sense of smell was affected. I could still smell things, only less intense. I couldn't tell that our baby's diaper needs to be changed, as before I got infected, I was the first to notice. I had this two symptoms despite the fact that all medical results looked fine. Two weeks later, I had my second checkup where they repeated the same set of tests. The results were identical, I had negative swab tests and all other results were fine. I also had a very high level of antibodies in my blood and I was considered to be immune on the virus. I described to doctors my newly discovered symptoms of affected smell and tiredness after pushing a baby stroller. I slowly started with my normal workout routine of two or three times a week. Two months later, almost three months after the infection, I had my third medical checkup. This time they took only my blood samples, 
checked my blood pressure, oxygen levels, heartbeat and listened to my heart and lungs. The results were good as always, but levels of antibodies dropped compared to the previous test. Level of antibodies were still high enough that I was considered immune. On this checkup, they also added x-ray of my lungs. They concluded that there are no visible changes on my lungs or my heart, despite the fact that I was feeling fatigue and my smell was affected. Five months after the infection, I had my fourth medical checkup. At the time, I was doing my regular workout for a while and I expected things to be back to normal, but I still felt out of shape. Doctors repeated the test from the previous checkup, including x-ray of the lungs. The results were the same and x-ray again showed no visible changes on my lungs or my heart despite my complaints. My level of antibodies were much lower now and I was on the limit of staying immune. Doctors expected I could be at risk of being infected again in a matter of weeks. I felt that my sense of smell has improved and was back to normal. Seven months after the infection, I had my fifth medical checkup. They took my blood samples, tested my blood pressure, oxygen levels, heartbeat and listened to my heart and lungs. As always, the results were fine. By now, level of antibodies were so low that I had no protection against being infected again. I'm scheduled for one more medical checkup 13 months after the infection. Now I feel that my current health is okay, but maybe not 100% back yet. I believe my sense of smell is completely back as I'm again the first to smell the dirty diaper. On the other hand, I'm not so certain about the fatigue problem, although I do think it has improved a lot over the time. I tried to push myself a bit harder in summer, but at that time I still felt I was getting tired too soon. In the last 5 months I didn't push myself. We had winter and gyms have been closed due to our second lockdown. Also winter sports were not allowed due to pandemic. I hope I'll be able to get back to the previous levels as now after easy workout or long walks I don't feel tired like before. I'm really grateful and happy about the way I got over the virus. I hope my experience can be useful to someone. I also hope you will check my past and future travel videos as I have big plans for this year. If you like this video, please give it thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you next time.